the two chase planes now are making their final approach. Again, one on the left, one on the right, so I expect they'll have brake release here any minute. Looks like that thing's gonna be rolling. I'm just gonna stop talking right now and let you watch this. This is gonna be a historic moment. We'll keep the camera focused on it the whole time. The two chase planes are now just uh, side by side, one on the left again, one on the right. I expect to see this thing start to roll any second here. Here it goes, let's listen in. Boy, you can see the thrust that those huge jet engines are generating there, the vortices behind them. The roll looks like it's going just perfectly so far, right on the center line. The view from the ground, just as spectacular as the view from the air. You can see those wings starting to cone up as it gains airspeed. This is just about to happen here. Look at this. You can hear the crowd in the background. A lot of people put in a lot of hours to see that finally happen. Why did they do that? Uh, it's uh, just uh, when we had the first flight, I guess it's just what they do. Commercial uh, uh, airline, we already had the gear retract. But, uh, uh, part of the test flight procedure will be that they will retract the gear, they will retract the flaps. Uh, but at least for the first part of the flight, they leave the gear down. And the chase planes will stay with them? Yeah, Boeing, of course, is going to be taking pictures of this uh, all along, and and quite honestly, too, they want to see that uh, they want to have pictures in case there are any anomalies, um, uh, and if the worst were to happen, of course. But uh, sometimes, if if uh, gear doesn't uh, come back up, uh, the photographs uh, from the chase planes can help identify if if something came loose or something of that nature. I think you're good. They're going to disappear. Clark Stahl, uh, how's it looking from your vantage point there? Well, this is absolutely outstanding. You never know what to expect. Of course, there's a lot of technology here, a lot of new technology that Scott's been talking about. But you can see so far, it looks like things are going perfectly. I'm not at all surprised to not see the gear come up yet. They're probably got going through a, a real, real lengthy ch checklist now, making sure that everything is working as well as can possibly be working perfectly would be good, of course. And before they withdraw the landing gear there, kind of clean the airplane up. and. Uh, the you can see the two chase planes, uh, one on either side there, moving in very close. It looks like they're going to be able to avoid the weather. It looks kind of murky off there in the distance, but as I mentioned earlier, a little bit further up to the north, there's apparently a higher ceiling and actually a blue spot where an earlier pilot reported that you could probably climb up above the cloud layer here. I think they would uh, prefer to stay VFR, that is, have good visibility and, and decent ceilings until they get things kind of under control. They are gaining the feeling of this airplane.